Hello, hockey, basketball, soccer fans. My name is David. Thought I would uh, start this video at uh, 11.15 on evening of um, uh, Saturday, 24th of February, 2024, North America Eastern Time. Thought I would do is uh, go through uh, the last two games the Toronto Raptors have played and then go and then address the Canadian NHL, team, Canadian NHL teams with results leading uh, with results from you know Thursday Eastern Time leading up to before this weekend's Battle of Alberta game. So, start off with the Raptors, a big win over the New Jersey, uh, on, over the Brooklyn Nets, 131-93 on the Thursday Eastern Time game. That was a home one for the Raptors. And then it was rolled to Atlanta, play the Hawks, barely beat the Hawks, 120, you know, 123-121. Both results were in regulation. There have been very few overtime games the Raptors played, and uh, I, can't, I can only think of one win the Raptors have had at most uh, of overtime games following the last preseason. So now I'm going to do is going to go to uh, go through those games I haven't already covered. Um, so I uh, so there so, so the, the, you know, Thursday Eastern Time. Yeah, I covered the orders there. Is that there? Was there on the Wednesday Eastern Time? No, no, it was the Wednesday. All right, so we're going to go back to the Wednesday game. So. Sabres beat the Habs 3-2. Leafs beat the Coyotes 6-3. And yes, the Oilers lost in overtime to the Bruins 6-5. So that's the Wednesday. It's so going to cover Wednesday to, well, Saturday Eastern Time this week, excluding the, ba excluding the Battle of Alberta. So Thursday games, uh, the Sens beat the Dallas Stars 4-1 at home. Habs lost to the Penguins in an away game 4-1. Flames beat the Bruins 3-2 in overtime at the Scotiabank Sound Zone. Canucks lost a 5-2 away game in the Seattle Kraken. Now the fourth loss for the BC NHL team. Leafs beat the Golden Knights 7-3 for a sixth straight win. Now to go with those games which took place on Friday. So the Oilers ended up losing their that game that day 4-2, ninth in a row, uh, to have featured at least three goals the Oilers had allowed and two Second straight during which the Oilers had allowed at least four goals. The offense didn't really get going, unlike the Leafs against the Avs. Death scoring got going in that game on Saturday Eastern Time, unlike the Oilers against the Avs. Jets beat out the Blackhawks 3 2 in overtime. And now we go to the Saturday Eastern Time game, so we'll start things off. The Habs didn't do all that well. It was going to leave the five, fifth straight game, 4 3 in regulation to the Devils in an away game. Leafs beat the Avs in another away game, 4-3 in regulation. Sens beat the Golden Knights 4-3 in a shootout. These Sens have definitely been looking good. And have a moment to go. Goal by, I forget to be Zach Hyman, to have the Flames lead over the others, 3-2 in that battle of Alberta, with 15-26 to go in the second period of that game. More about the Alberta a little later, but... Back to the other game, so we have the, yeah, so Leafs and Avs, cover that, Sens and Golden Knights, so 4-3, four, 4-3 three, four, three wins, Leafs 4-3 in regulation at Ball Arena, Sens 4-3 in the shootout at the entire center, Canucks beat the Bruins 3-2 in uh, overtime, looks like the game is going to go in the shootout, but you look Brock Besser who scored that goal, so, yeah, it's going to... Okay. Yeah, so overall, very, very good. Thatcher Demko uh, on 22 Bruins shots allowed two goals. Canucks uh, shot 39 pucks at, uh, at Jeremy Swayman. Well, three of them went in. The last of them in overtime, Brock Besser from JT Miller. And Quinn Hughes on a power play that had come about because of a not great line change that has put the Bruins behind uh, with a penalty, too many men, two minutes. So was that there? Too many men, bench minor at the 109 mark of overtime. So 25 seconds into that power play, game over. Canucks finally snapped losing streak. Um, but again, 
in the to be determined will be whether that regulation lost by the well, whether that win will be the part of a streak of games going into the 2024 Santa Cup playoffs during which the Canucks don't end up losing consecutive games in regulation again. To be determined, though, because that's going to be determined, and and uh, so the battle bird is currently going on. Whereas uh, I'm going to go to the weekend. The Raptors will be out of action at least until Monday Eastern time. Sunday will be the Jets, uh, Jets hosting the Coyotes, the only Canadian team, Canadian NHL team in action. Either they'll be on TSN as usual, still be confirmed. Uh, going to take keep an eye, keep eyes peeled for Winnipeg Jets Twitter. Probably post sometime uh, uh, Sunday morning or early afternoon Eastern time, and uh, definitely looking forward to watching that game if I can. So, and uh, so. That's up, for, so that's all for the time being. Uh, so, if you like the video, please make sure to click that like button. If you want to subscribe to my channel, please feel free, feel free to do so. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to get more, receive more time notifications from YouTube of videos I put out, uh, please feel free to click that notification bell. I do try to put out videos, whether short or long, long, longer ones. Uh, at least weekly. On that note, I'm going to say go Leafs go, go Raptors go, go Toronto RC go, and respect to Canadian, other Canadian national teams for which I cheer, go Canada go.